everybody, Dr. Oliver here, backintelligence.com. And today, we're going to go through three exercises that you can do simply while you work at your computer to help deal with some of this forward head posture, some of this neck pain, some of this headache stuff. If you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button to get access to videos when we put them out. We talk about it all the time on this channel, but forward head posture leads to a lot of problems, right? Besides just neck pain, upper back pain, it leads to headaches, it can contribute to TMJ issues. It's a real issue, and most individuals tend to have their head forward. Working on computers, driving, all these different things, using our phones, our heads tend to be too far forward. So one of the best things I've found for patients is to frequently do things that are the opposite of this, right? Counteract what we're doing. So we're gonna go through a few exercises that you should do at your computer. You could do it every hour or so. I have some patients who have real issues with this. Just take 30 seconds to a minute doing these stretches. It goes a long way in relieving a lot of those symptoms we were just talking about. The first one is super basic, right? What do we talk about? The head goes forward. We're gonna work on bringing that head back. So Leon's gonna demonstrate it, right? So as we're working all day long, that head starts to drift a little forward. We're working down maybe on a computer. We look at our phone. Again, every hour or so, do some chin tucks. So literally, you're just gonna retract the head. The head glides backward. You feel a little packing of the neck. You might feel a little stretching discomfort back here or here. Don't push in any pain, just move. So back it up, pack for a second or two, and relax. Don't worry about going forward, just worry about going back. Pack in that neck, come off it. So about 10 of these, and you hold for a second or two each time. It should never hurt. If it feels really stiff or uncomfortable, just don't push into it initially. You may be too tight initially but just work on this, and again, doing this frequently is helpful. The second one we're gonna do is actually work on that upper back. So besides the neck being forward, what happens is we tend to round forward in our back, right? So we tend to cause a lot of stress here. We're not getting enough extension, we're getting more flexion. So we wanna do the opposite, same thing, we're gonna extend. So at your desk, what you can do is slightly back up, because what I want you to be able to do is if you can, get your feet on something. Grab a box, turn over your trash can, Get your knees above your hips. If you can do that, it's gonna help you from extending in your low back and help you extend your upper back. You're gonna take your hands and you'll interlace them behind your head. You can bring your elbows together a little bit just to clear your shoulder blades. And then all you're gonna do, sitting up nice and tall, is you're going to extend backwards. And if you can even use your chair to get a little force into it, that's good. If you have a lower chair sometimes, even that'll hit you in a spot where you can extend over it, that's great. Again, we're not pushing in a pain, we're just getting some extension out of that upper back. And by having your feet a little elevated, having your knees up, you can target that extension to your upper back more. So again, about 10 of these. So do some chin tucks, do these, you can alternate back and forth, do one every hour, and just switch back. So we're just trying to get some extension there. Perfect. Shouldn't hurt, you push into whatever's comfortable, but just make it move. All right, and then we move that out of there. Next thing we're gonna do is look at a muscle that tends to become very tight when our head goes forward. One of those muscles is that SCM, that sternocleidoid mastoid muscle. It starts behind your ear here, there's a bone. If you tap right there, that hard bone, that's where it comes off, that's your mastoid process. And then if you were to trace it down your neck, it's gonna come down and wrap around to the front and it attaches to your sternum and clavicle area right here where your collarbone is. So what you're gonna do, I don't like you guys pushing into your neck, massaging in. There's too much sensitive stuff there. Don't push in ever during this. It's all gonna be pulling actually. So you're gonna take your finger and your thumb and you're just gonna get a little grip of the muscle and actually the skin really, especially in that lower region, you might not be able to get a grip of the muscle, but if you can grab on to the skin and get a little yank in and a little pulling away, you're gonna to start to find as you move up the pathway, some tenderness. And if you wanna see where that muscle is, if you gently turn your head to the left like Leon's doing and tilt your ear down towards your chest, you'll feel that muscle kind of pop out a bit right there. That's that SCM. And generally as you get on it, you're gonna get a grip on it and pull. As you get higher up, it probably will get more tender. Most people tend to be more tender towards the top half, but you can check the whole way. In about 30 seconds to a minute, pull on it. And if you hit a point that's pretty tight and tender, just spend a little more time on that, pull in all different directions. Again, 30 seconds to a minute, get all the way up behind your ear, both sides. Again, if you need to find it, turn your head away, tilt your ear down, and you can get that muscle to get exposed. Yep, and you're just working on it, 30 seconds to a minute. Try these, three different exercises to deal with that forward head carriage. 
you should find that it goes a long way in relieving that tension, especially in the muscles we talked about, the strain in the neck, the headaches, that sort of thing. If this doesn't work, look at some of the other videos that we have geared towards activities you can do when you're not just sitting, when you can be more active, you can get up, you can use a foam roller to extend your back, things like that. Look at the other videos we have on this topic, we got a lot of them. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like it and share it with a friend. Also, we'd love to send you three posture correction exercises that we've done with Dr. David Oliver. These videos will help correct that forward head and rounded shoulder type of posture that we're all suffering from today. So if you'd like to get those three videos, there's gonna be a link to get them somewhere here on the video or down below in the description. Go to that page, enter your email, and we'll send you those videos right away.